Go Bearcats TV here with Coach Hilton Days following a huge win over 17th ranked Temple Alice here at Gettler Stadium. And Coach, what did you see from your team out there tonight? Well, I think he's, we saw fight. We saw our guys battle. We saw our guys not give up, even when we went down 2-1. I think the energy was great. The team spirit, the, the work was great. I thought we had just enough quality to get the two goals in the second half. And, you know, my hat's off to our guys because we could have quit and we didn't. And I think we showed great resolve. I thought we, um, we really um, played on our front foot in the second half, took the game to Temple. And even when we scored to tie it up, our guys wanted to get the winner, and obviously we got it. So just real proud of the team for their effort, for the resilience, and coming from behind against a really, really good Temple team. And, Coach, you were trailing 2-1 at halftime. What did you say to your boys to motivate them to come back in the second half and able to get the win tonight? Well, you know, the big thing that we told our guys, was, listen, there's still 45 minutes to play. We have plenty of time to go get, you know, the, the tying goal. So what we did was we tightened things up defensively. I thought our work work, work our work rate was a much better. I thought that we won first and second balls. And then we got the ball to our playmakers. And, you know, I thought that we did a good job of sticking with the game plan and it proved effective. Basically, I think we wore Temple down. And Coach, with those two goals coming late in the match, what was going through your mind uh, during those last two goals? Well, I mean, you know, I, the key for us was get was to get the sec was to get the one the tying goal. And once we got that, I felt momentum was on our side, and it was difficult then for Temple to get a foothold back in the game. And we didn't want it to go to overtime. I think our guys wanted. We didn't want to tie. We didn't want it to go to overtime. We felt like, listen, there's enough gas in the tank. Let's go get the winner. So we just, you know, very similar to Xavier, the second half, except we got the second goal. And then once we got the second goal, it gave us that great momentum to go find the winner, which is, which I think is what we deserve. And Coach, Joe, it's important to start off conference play with win. How can you use this win going forward? Well, I mean, it gives us great confidence because Temple's going to win a lot of games in our league. So for us to defend our home field and to get our first win in the league, coming off the disappointing result at Cleveland State and doing it in front of our home fans, it's just priceless. So we're just happy, and, you know, we have a 24-hour rule. So we're going to let the guys celebrate for 24 hours, then we'll get back to work. But it's just a great win for our guys, and I think we deserved it tonight. And hopefully now there's a belief there that we can go out and play with any team on our schedule as we prove tonight. Coach again, congrats on the win and good luck on your next match. Thank you. Bearcats TV here with the hero of the match tonight following a 3-2 victory over 17th ranked Temple Owls. Garcia, you scored the equalizer and the game winner. Just what was going through your mind on those two plays? I mean, on the first goal, I mean, I found a space in, in between the defenders and then I had Adam Wilson with a beautiful ball in behind and I just chested it and got a strike and went in. I didn't know what to think. I was just, I was just going crazy. I mean, after that, I mean, we were winning, so I'm just, it's good, it's good to have that win, you know. So, it was honestly, it was just an amazing feeling. The uh, the fact that I got to score two, this game is just, it's unreal. It's unreal.